Welcome to the Average Rook. We are still playing Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we saved Ashley. I'm not sure if it was in the last episode or the one before. And we had to escape some uh, infected villagers. We moved into this house and found the X-Cop. We have to shoot our way through. It's going to be very, very difficult. But let's get to it. All right, bring it on. Wait, this is not where we continue from. Okay, that's a little bit annoying, so we do have to do all of this again. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money Got do I actually have? Good. What are you buying? We have 55,300. So I may have to buy... Is that all? Wait a minute. Cancel. Can we is buy two? Can we only buy... Wait, hold on, what? Only is one available. All? What what were these developers even thinking? This is confusing to me. All right, doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you. We bought it. Now can what we sell anything? Selling? It's probably just the same stuff that we do need to sell. Uh, no, that's it. What are you selling? Uh, what are you buying? Okay. Um, never mind all of this. I'm just going to cut back to the uh, to the fighting sequence. Okay, good idea is just to take everything that that, that I can find in here. Uh oh, where is that? Okay, take. Well, what was that? Uh, handgun, ammunition. Where's that? Oh, please tell me that's not behind me. Okay, um, I'm gonna need something stronger, or at least something that's going to heal me quickly. Uh, I've got some ammunition in this, I might as well use this. Okay, uh, charge up. Oh god. Ugh, oh god. Let me take that. And this. Can I, uh, take anything from here? Use this. Use what? Let me take that. Take, uh, incendiary grenade. Okay. I can, uh, I can do that. I've got a lot of them. Uh, equip the Sendinary. Oh god! Okay, uh, take. Handgun ammunition. Push. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let me take some of this, and then immediately equip. Uh, I'll have to equip this. Wait, I've got some of this. But before I do anything else, I'm going to combine this with that, and then use it. All right, where are you? Uh oh. Uh, my guy's about to die. Take, wait, take, take, take. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's it. Okay, good. But they're just gonna leave us. Looks like they're backing off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. Well, we may have to, I yeah. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Forgot something. Lewis. Better not be working with the connections. Oh, good. An end of chapter. Thank you. Hit ratio, 62%. Enemies killed, 45. Our hit ratio is dropping. It'll probably be 50%. Number of times killed, 2. All right. Gonna save here, and we're going to move it on. Before we do anything else, let's look around, see what we can find. Take the shotgun shells. Take all of these pesetas. Uh, was there anything dropped here? Yep. Yeah. Shotgun shells? Yep. Anything more outside? Because we killed a lot. We can jump through here. We 
can jump through here, but I'm not seeing anything in the way. Okay, let me just charge up first. See what we have so far. We've got 10 shotgun shells. We've got 50, 60, 70, 80. We've got 91 pistol rounds. And 50, uh, 50 TMP rounds. I will need to manipulate this somehow. I might, um, hmm. I've got an idea. I'm gonna move this down here. I'm gonna move this down here too. As well as all of these. And I'm gonna put the shotgun right at the top. Uh, this, move this around so it fits in here and then move this all the way up to the top. Okay, I could, uh, swap this around, put this here. There we go. Then I might put the, uh, the stock underneath it. Might as well keep it close. Hmm. Actually, will this be good enough? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Nah, uh, might be a better option for me to do this. Wait a minute, uh, here. There we go. I'll just put this here, then this here, and then this here, then this, then this, move this over here, and then move this over here, and then everything can go around it. Uh, let's go upstairs, check what we can find. I'm glad I didn't have to go up here. Hand grenade. I can't open that. Wait, hold on, I might switch back to the, uh, the red nine. Got another incendiary grenade. Got a green hub. And I think this is a flash grenade. Good. Can I combine anything? I can. Combine with this. So I've got two sources of healing left. Alright, I think that might be it for collecting in this house. So let's move outside through the door. See about any goodies that might be in this area. We're close to... Wait, wasn't this the area that we were at before? Where we met him? Or was it somewhere different? Whatever, there's a merchant over there. As well as some items that we can collect. TMP ammo, 50. I won't be able to heal you too much. Um, take this for handgun ammunition. The more we can collect of that, the better. Alright, what's here? Oh, save point, good. Take. Two roots. Just a while ago, as I was informed by Lord Sadler that our men had shot down a United States military helicopter. There should be there shouldn't be any more outside interference for a while now. Unless the United States government determines who the traitor is, they can only initiate very small covert operations. We must use this time to our advantage and recapture the girl. Wait, and it determines who the traitor is. Is there a traitor within the United States government in this game? The two Americans can only get out of our territory by using one of two routes. This is where we will stop them. We shall make use of our forces to the greatest degree. We will deploy a large number of Ganados in one of the routes to ensure that they do not slip by us. For the other route, we shall leave the task to El Gigante. Whichever route they take, the agent will never leave here alive. Not with the girl, at least. Hmm. I might want to take on El Gigante. That'd probably be better, well, at least it'll be preferable to taking on multiple enemies. No idea what a Ganados is. I probably should have done a little bit more research before I continued this game. Because I didn't look up the, uh, the, the Mexican lexicon, unfortunately. Alright, is that it for collectibles before I go to the, um, to the merchant? in the trees, is there? Alright, that might be it. Alright, let's see if the merchant has anything. Do you have anything new? Welcome. 
Does he have anything new? He does not have anything new. What are you buying? I bet I still can't buy any more of the first aid spray. It's always just the one. What are you buying? Can I upgrade anything? Firing speed. Don't necessarily need that. Firepower, I might as well increase. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Is that Reload old? speed, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, capacity, not necessary. TMP, hmm. Reload speed. Is that old? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank capacity, <you>. Is that... <laughs> 50 would do. <laughs> Thank you. What are you selling? Can I sell anything worthwhile? Not really. I still need to find some stuff Number to add to the elegant mask. So there's two routes apparently. Let's take a look at the map. So one route's going to uh so one route's gonna take me Oh. Do we have to go backwards in order to get through to here? Or I don't know. There's apparently two routes. Uh This one over here, I think, is probably going to have the multiple I think when they say Ganados, they're talking about the uh the wolves, the infected wolves. Either that or the villagers. That makes me think that it's going to be there. I feel like I should probably save first to figure it out. And if I'm right, then the bottom one here is going to have the uh, El Gigante. Or I could be wrong and they're going to bottleneck all of the enemies into that area so they won't get past. And then El Gigante is going to be over here wandering through everything. Whatever the case, I'm going to save. The best area that I want to take is the one that's going to have El Gigante. It'll be more preferable to trying to avoid him than it will be trying to avoid the uh, the multiple enemies. Unless I have to protect Ashley from El Gigante. Hopefully her AI is not too shit. One and a half minutes right there. So we've got two pathways here. One there, one there. That one is probably going to lead to the, uh, the little area of the encampment, and this one's going to lead to the bottleneck. And I'm guessing I need to configure them by doing this. Could this be the mechanism to open the gates? Which one will you take? I'll take the right one. And bearing in mind that I'm looking through these only so I can find the one that has El Gigante. He is going to be more preferable unless I have to protect Ashley all the time. In which case, it's not going to be preferable. Although, now that I think about it, it's probably going to be more preferable um, protecting her against El Gigante than it is against protecting all of the enemies that could possibly nip at her, kill her, or take her away and then I lose my mission. Let's try this one. See what it has. If this is the one that has the enemies, then I am immediately backing out. Wait, actually... Or does this cross? Did I pick the wrong one? Um, no, this seems to be good. One second. Can I go up there at all? Here's hoping I can actually go up there, because I would like... I would like whatever is on top there. Uh-oh. Hi! Oh, I see. You know, why don't we just try this again? Maybe I need to drop it on him. You know what, dude? Maybe you should just kill me. I'm fine with you killing me. I just want to actually make sure. Thank you. Holy crap. We don't even see ourselves die. Alright. I'm gonna try that again and see if I can time that right. Getting it on top of the, uh, of El Gigante. Hopefully I can kill him with a boulder. If not, then I'll just have to figure out something else. Okay, let's see if we can try this again. So we just need to coax him out. And then immediately back it. Try to see if we can get that boulder on top of him. Yeah, I can see it. Got him. Uh-oh. Okay, backing up. Backing up. Hi. Uh, this is a little bit awkward. Uh, running. 
I don't think we can get him on anything else, so we might just have to book it. Uh, where are we right now? Why are we going backwards? Um, run through his legs. That's good enough. Can we whack this at all? Okay, up and up and. Anything in here? Take. What is this? Uh, incendiary grenade. All of this. All of this. All of this. Where is he now? Okay, he's running over there. Okay. Uh, through here. Uh, take. 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 I think there's some more to take. Uh, where is he? Okay, running. He'll break through the house again. I might want to switch to something a little bit better. There we go. Running. Wait a minute. I think I might have missed one. I might want to go back just so I can get him. Okay, never mind. It's running. Oh, for freak's sake. I need... I need something that has ammunition on it. Please tell me that she's not dead. She's dead as me. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Although I did want to do it again, just so I can see if I can find that special. So let's try this again. Alright, we collected the thing. It was a purple gem. We should be able to get through here now. It won't open. It's locked. Maybe the key's around here somewhere. Oh, goody. Goody, goody gumdrops. Um, charge back up. Right, run. So the key is gonna be somewhere around here. Maybe it's somewhere inside these items. Take, 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 take. Old key, got it. Okay. Okay, running. Wait, tell me you didn't just... Okay, good. Running now. We've got the keys, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. There might have been something on the side, but I'm not gonna go for it. Open. Use the key. Use the old key. Open. Okay, good. Hopefully that is it for it. So where are we now? According to this, we're at a save point. There's a merchant to the left of us, I believe. So let's go into this building maybe over here right as soon as we've taken this ammunition and whatever goodies might be around here. So a quick look will do. Like on that side, there's some wind. You see the merchant up there? I'm not going to it just yet. Let's take a look around here. It's a safe point. Take this, what it is. Village's last defense. I clearly underestimated the a the American agent's capability. He's still alive. I thought that we could wait until the egg hatched, but at this rate, he could destroy the whole village before it does. We must we must take care of this nuisance. We shall change our priorities. For the time being, we will cease our hunt for Louis and ambush the two Americans. There is a building used to enlighten betrayers, just beyond the point where you get off the lift. Used to enlighten betrayers? It's a perfect place for ambushing them. If all else fails, they will still need to face me in order to get past the last gate that leads out of the village. For only before my sight will the gate open. Is that code for something? Open this up for some rifle rounds that I don't necessarily need. But it, wait, was that a sparkly? No, that's just a flame. Um, used to be it for items to collect. I might need to heal Ashley up. She's looking quite peaky. Uh, I'll use the first aid spray on her. That was probably a waste, but whatever. And then it will save here, see if the merchant has anything, and then we'll probably stop it then. Alright, let's see if this merchant has anything before we stop. 
It looks like he's partially corrupted with his eyes, but that might not be the case. Welcome. We suddenly have something new. Got a selection of good. Don't what have anything selling? new at all. It's a little bit unfortunate. The markings on this piece indicate that it was once set in something. Hmm. It's either gonna be the beer stein or it's the elegant mask. I'm guessing it's the Come elegant mask. Anytime. Let's go into our inventory and check it out. Okay, uh, this. Let's combine it with the elegant mask. Yeah, of course it is. But that makes me wonder if there is another piece inside the other area. I really don't want to have to go through there with Ashley in tow, so I may have to give it a miss. Alright, oh, hold on. Before I stop, I might want to check this out. Got myself some shotgun shells. Okay. So that appears to be where we need to go. According to the map, there's also this pathway leading up all the way through there. That appears to be... But it, it's like we would have to... How would we even get through there, I wonder? I have no idea. Maybe we can go all the way around to get into there and get the special things. But that appears to be like... I wonder if we have a lot more to go of this game than previous, because it seems like a relatively short game. But it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, we'll stop the episode here, do some more next time. Alright, so we definitely chose a successful route that has El Gigante, and we got through him, and we got to this place. Through that door is probably where we'll need to go next, unless I decide to follow wherever the map's not going to take me. So in the next episode, we're going to be doing either of those things, either going through the main door, or backtracking to someplace. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check corresponding playlists, any of the recommended, or any of the links below. I am the Average Rook, and I shall see you soon, for there is more average content coming your way!